Has anyone ever said to you, it took you a long time for your body to get into this state. You have to expect it to take time to get back to the way it was. Chances are it was a healthcare practitioner, a doctor, or somebody else in the field. Did you believe it? If you believed it, why would you believe it? Hey, let's talk about that now. Hi, Reverend Allie Bierman here. Thanks for joining us here today for the Let's Get Metaphysical show. So when people have said that to me before, I said immediately in my heart, yeah, that's your paradigm. That's not mine. And I'm not going to live that way. And I never have. So when I had injuries and the doctor said it's going to take a long time or actually the first very traumatic brain injury I had, there were 16 people on my medical team. I was working in crisis care in Fairfax County, one of the wealthiest counties in the country, in the U.S. And they were getting me into every specialist, even the ones that had three month waiting list because they wanted me to get better and be back on the job. Well, I knew because every single one of them said one of two things. They said, this is as good as it gets. Learn to live with it. We can't do anything to help you. Or they said, it's all in your mind. There's nothing wrong with you, which was a, a real winner. One of them was incredibly snooty about it. He said, I know how to test vision and there's nothing wrong with your vision. And when I had my vision tested properly for the test that he never knew how to run, guess what? Ah, there's an issue. We can fix that. Let's fix that. And it was fixed right away. So what I learned is energetically, anything can be fixed right away. And I've been working as a specialized kinesiologist, working in energy. That's how life happens, that it happens immediately. You don't have to be waiting around for it to happen. Not only that, but when it gets corrected energetically the way I do it, because I'm also programming into your body, mind, spirit, the anti-self-sabotage, because otherwise you're going to be self-sabotaging. And that's why you'll revert to how you were before. Uh, other things to work around, I realized, because the universe showed me, that if you're telling the universe what's wrong, this is the issue I have with people who go to psychotherapy or to any kind of physical healing uh, doctor, practitioner. And they say, I want to work on this issue. And I did that at first when I was working with people. And then I thought, OK, I'm telling the universe, I'm telling my guides angels, your guides, angels, that this is all we're looking for, is how to clear this particular issue. But what if that's not the core issue? And I guarantee you it's not. Because when I work with somebody, we go back, we find out not just the core issue, but the priorities. Did you know your body has a priority of how things are going to heal? And if you heal the priority, guess what? Whole bunch of things clear that you never had to deal with, that you never had to pay attention to, that you never had to spend time or energy. They just cleared. But there are other factors that I do. I'm not going to go into describing with you, but there are things that other people don't do. There are reasons. There are reasons if you're not allowing your body, mind, spirit to function the way it was designed. No, you can't heal for something and have it be gone forever. And why wouldn't you want to get rid of something forever? Do you enjoy struggling? Struggle is optional. However, if there's something that's physical or emotional in there, and even if you're choosing, because it's your choice, to not 
feel it as struggle, to not feel it as emotional pain dragging you down, but to know, okay, there's something here and I deal with it, which is how I dealt with after the brain surgery, before I got around to finding how to find the stem cells that allowed my body to heal itself. For 10 years, I was dealing with, okay, this is what I have to do to compensate so I can look like I'm having a regular, normal life. But what if you don't want to live that way? Because it's a choice to live that way. And I didn't know I had the choice because I didn't know there was a safe way to get stem cells so my body in its innate wisdom could heal itself. But then after you clear everything, you got to be sure you're not going to go cause it again. Or your friends and family, they're gonna, not going to like who you've become because you're going to be different. They're going to want you to change back. Because if you don't change back, they have to change to accommodate who and how you're being in the world now. Because when you've healed from something that the doctor said can't happen, you're going to be in a different space. You'd be running your head differently. Your energy is going to be different. So doing all those things. And then I also program not just the anti-cell sabotage, but I actually put a program into your spirit to replace all the unhealthy program cells and tissues to replace all the unhealthy cells and tissues with healthy new program cells and tissues for full and optimal functioning of your life force. So as I was telling you in our last episode, who you are is a spirit, never born, never dies, that goes from one lifetime to the next, to the next, to the next, picking up experiences. And it's your spirit that always has your highest and best interest in place, regardless of what you think it might be. So what I've discovered, <laughs> you might not want to hear this part, but this is a fact. When Grant Cardone said, it's not just that nothing happens to you. It's not just that everything happens for you. It's that you create what happens in your life. Now, what I've been through that was very traumatic the last few years was things I just couldn't, every time I get better, something else would slam me, something else would cause me to fall back in a struggle again. However, what I knew was, okay, there's something I'm missing that the universe wants me to know that I'm not seeing, that I'm not acting on. And that's what I interpret as I'm causing my world to look like it does. I'm causing these seeming struggles to happen in my life. Now, you have a choice about things that happen in your life being painful or being something you can let go. You can let go and they don't have to be painful anymore. In fact, Audible gives you a gift, a free download, right? And a whole month to look around the site. And I have a book I've recommended for you, to you before, and I'm going to highly recommend it again. And that's The Greatest Secret by Rhonda Byrne. Because The Greatest Secret is that it's what words you're choosing to believe because the words you're choosing to believe and live by, they're not. The truth. They're the stories you're telling yourself. Take a look at them. 
They're never about the now. You can't be following those kinds of untruths and live in the now. No, just investigate. Take a moment to look at the stories that you're telling yourself. They're from your past. They're from the future, which doesn't even exist. But they're not the now. When can you live? When is your life? It's now. So Rhonda Burns' book, The Greatest Secret, helps you to understand. Well, I don't like the word help. It assists your clarity on the difference between the stories you're telling yourself and the truth of who you are. I thank you for joining me here today. Reverend Ellie Beerman here, and you are joining us for the Metaphysical Show. Remember to join our Facebook group. Ask questions. You don't have to go around trying to figure it out for yourself. Ask questions in the Facebook group. Contact me. If your questions are too personal, you don't want to put them open in the group. Go below this video or below the audio, depending upon how you're absorbing this week's episode. You can put your question in there or your observation or let me know what you'd like to know more about. Remember that you can listen to or watch any episode. We're now in year four. We've got a lot of episodes and you can listen to or watch any of them on our show site. But you know what else you can do? It's even more fun for me and for you when you come join my club. A-L-I-T-L-C dot club where I'll be putting in extra material that you'll only find there. That you can meet other people who are observing those other things. And I might do short webinars in there. Maybe I'll give to you with a long webinar. The thing is, all the things I'm telling you about all the links will be in the show notes. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life can possibly happen, can possibly be experienced outside of you, because it has to come into your being as electrical impulses, you are an electromagnetic being. And going to your different senses, they get translated into what you see, what you hear, what you taste, what you smell, what you touch. It all happens within. I look forward to seeing you here next time.